to get some kind of results related to music, I think there is an art, you know. I think in the recent years, uh, there is a there is an increasing use of software of the finite element analysis. So with this software, we can predict, you know, how the different parts are gonna behave, you know, in terms of acoustic response. But there is a final step at the end that is more related to psychoacoustics, you know, because you can find two, two similar drivers with two similar frequency response, but when you are doing a blind hearing test, you know, you can see that there is a different timbre, different tonality. I think the process goes on like it was many years ago, but I think there's an increasing trend of uh, having uh, drivers with more efficiency, less price, and also for more compact, compact applications. You know? So we have been requested about drivers to perform in this kind of a scenario where the, the space, you know, is a compromise. So I think there is an increase, you know, trend or need, you know, in terms of that. And I think this is also do it because the installation, the installation market, you know, is a uh, there is a big room to grow in that segment of the market. Column speakers and also compact cabinets, two-way cabinets for big molds. Or also something that makes between the public address and pro audio, you know. This kind of products are, have been requested, you know, for this type of products. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of uh, the range of the loudspeaker that uh, normally producers like us try to try to try to invest and try to make big effort to propose to our market the best compromise between a different range of loudspeaker that uh, until now we know that uh, our loudspeaker can range from uh, low frequency up to high frequency range and uh, in our case we are able to provide uh, cutting edge, cutting edge uh, technology based on uh, our loudspeaker and our uh, intellectual property, let's say. A lot, of, a lot of effort has put during the last year to make improvement on uh, materials, on the different kind of technology that could be applied in uh, our, uh, our transducer, for example. So, um, let's say, our clients are demanding always different kind of uh, solution, technical solution, and uh, also try to find the new technologies that could uh, be very helpful for them, for example. So it's a, it's a big deal. Let's see, let's see. I think price is always an issue. In fact, you know, the way we work is uh, uh, we receive a request of certain parameters, technical parameters, sensibility, frequency response, you know, how we're going to work with that, you know, and then price, you know, so this is the two information we receive when we are developing a new product. You know. uh, price is an issue, and I think price is, uh, is gaining importance, you know, when designing the speakers, you know. That is why we are developing some technologies, you know, in order to get uh, higher performance with lower power uh, compression losses you know using the macros technology so with macros technology we are able to make cone drivers with uh, a smaller motor structure you know to, to get you know same performance that those ones using bigger voice coils you know so price is definitely uh, a key point for us you know? we are uh, we are engaged a lot different problems with the Neo market in the sense that uh, Neo the prices are, ra are raising again so um, we are fighting a little with uh, this kind of uh, trying to find a compromise between uh, best quality and, uh, and prices so fortunately we have a prestigious firm so we can uh, we can uh, we can try to find a different solution to how to employ 
this kind of uh, material, new materials, or to employ this kind of, uh, let's say, problems that uh, could arise from uh, increasing the cost of the market. We have seen an increase in all the raw materials in the last seven, seven months, something like that. But this, this is especially critical, you know, in neodymium. We have seen an increase in pricing in neodymium, like it was when all the crisis happened many years ago. It looks like the situation is now getting more balanced, but, but let's see what's going on, you know, let's see. There are, there, I think there is an increase in general in all the raw materials, but especially with neodymium. Well, we can see a curve like that. You know? Now maybe the curve is like getting like, uh, nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. And nobody knows because 90 percent of, or 90 something percent of the mines are in China, so it's in third party's hands, you know, so let's see. It went back to, let's say, the first, uh, the cheaper materials. For example, like ferrite, uh, as you told me, like ferrite materials for magnets. So, so this is a, it's always a compromise between uh, different, uh, different products and different models. But for, fortunately, our clients can uh, could uh, afford this kind of uh, compromise and uh, they, they always choose for, uh, for the right solution. Basically, we have made two changes since your last visit. Uh, one of them was to create a new, a new automatic line for mechanical parts. And the second one was to improve the robot line we have, you know, in order to gain both two things. First one is consistency, and second is more capability to produce. You know. So we are doing a lot of research, seriously. We are doing seriously a lot of research. Uh, for example, now at, uh, in our R&D department, we are uh, more or less uh, more than, uh, no, we are uh, 10 people. Different, uh, different separated from uh, pure research and development. So thanks to this uh, effort that we put, that we are putting every day, that we put every day in, uh, in our work, let's say, and uh, we always try to find a compromise between uh, technology, prices and different solutions. In my opinion, you know, there are two key factors. One is uh, our capability of customization. I think 65, 66% of our products are customized. And the ability we have, you know, to customize products according to the customer needs is critical, you know, is critical. Uh, in fact, you know, more than 50% of our R&D ideas of new projects comes from our clients. When we are requesting about really highly technically demand pro uh, projects, you know. And this is, from my opinion, you know, a key factor. And the second one, which is even more important, I think is the people, the people we have there. Because uh, in Bema it's really interesting because we have people who, who has been working in the factory for 30 years, but at the same time there is a group of millennials, you know, on the 30s, uh, really involved, you know, and really passionate about what they are doing, you know, in the technical department with a lot of musical background. Yeah. So to see those dead generations working together, you know, uh, I think this is a really competitive thing. So people, you know, I will highlight people, you know, as a main key factor, you know. We are working a lot of uh, just to find different solutions how to how to to give to our client uh, new possibility to develop their uh, their air performance solution. So this is something that range uh, from uh, starting from the a simple loudspeaker up to different uh, different technology, different solution. We are uh, really optimistic, you know, about, yeah. about the, the future in the coming years. I think because two factors. One is all the market research, you know, points that there is a increased demand 
for pro audio programs for live sound events because all the music industry you know is changing the groups are not selling as many records as they used to so we have to gain their lives you know through live, live sounds and also um, which is more interesting i think there is an increasing demand of high quality audio in public spaces you know like hotels malls the there is an increasing, there is a trend to increase the quality of the customer experience when shopping, when making sports. When, so I think in general, you know, there is a a good, good, I mean, forecast for us, you know, for us and for the people in the pro audio. Yes, the maybe that the audio is not growing like uh, like video and lighting uh, and lighting market. Maybe this is uh, this is something that uh, need to need to increase our market. Need to maybe need need a little a little bit change in the sense that uh, it needs something that uh, people try to realize that uh, audio and acoustic is important because when uh, when people realize that uh, a proper sound system is uh, set up in a very good way, that uh, I'm. I quite I'm quite sure that uh, could change the idea they could invest more and more more and more people about uh, sound technology because uh, they could realize what it means how listen very well a different product